Thank you for, for, for joining in with me. I love that. We were praising all the one accord. And now it's time to get to the meat of the word. And we're going to go to the scripture. We had it out here. Yeah, 1 First Corinthians 11, 1 through 3. Amen. The Apostle Paul says, Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. <coughs> now I praise you, brother, that you remember me in all things yes. and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. But I would have you know that the head of every man yes. is Christ. And the head of every woman of the woman is the man. Mm -hmm. And the head of Christ is God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let Thank us pray. You. Father, we come in the mighty name of Jesus once again, Lord, to hear a word from you, Lord. So I pray that you open the hearts, minds, and ears of your people, Lord, and speak through me, Lord. Let the meditation of my heart, the words of my mouth be pleasing in your sight, Amen. my Lord and my Redeemer, that they might receive. Your word, Lord, that they might be edified and you be glorified. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 I want to use for a thought today a father's role. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A father's role. You may take the seats and press. Mm -hmm. Woo! What is the role of a father mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. according to the word? Of God. I want to say happy Father's Day once again. But you know, Deacon said it earlier, we have our Father, which are in heaven. And he gave us children. He allowed us to have children so we would understand what it means to be a child of God. Amen. And we know that as sometimes our children they disappoint us. Yes. They discourage us. Mm -hmm. They make us sad. Sometimes they, they give us joy. They give us hope. But we do the same thing mm -hmm. with God. Amen. 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 And in today's text, the Apostle Paul is really giving us instructions on how to, of the order of the church, how men and women are to conduct themselves in the house of God. Amen. But that same order that God uses in the church, he uses in our homes. If you remember that the church is the bride of Christ. Amen. You remember that? He's coming back for his bride. Amen. Amen. So that same order is intended for fathers and mothers to conduct themselves in the home and the family unit. It has nothing to do with ability. It has nothing to do with uh, infirmity or inferiority of the man is more uh, uh, able than the woman. It has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with humility. Amen. It has everything to do with God's order. Amen. God is a God of order. Amen. Amen. Where there is no order, there is chaos. Amen. And God has given us the order. And it works. Amen. Amen. And it has, Okay. So it's about doing things God's way. That's what he's telling. That's what Paul is telling. Uh, decently and in order. Amen. God sets the order. He set it in the beginning. He set it in the beginning. He created man for himself. Amen. Then he created the woman for the man. Let me say that again. Once again, this has nothing to do with ability or anything else. It has everything to do with order. Amen. His Father said, Amen. We don't talk about why this matters so much today. Amen. But in 1 Timothy 2 and 13, he says, For Adam was first born, then Eve. There's an order there. Amen. That's all I need to read. I don't need to go into, it was Eve that made the transgression out of Adam. That don't even matter. He's given us an order. Amen. There was a reason Adam was formed from the dust of the ground. And then he took a rib from Adam. Mm -hmm. And he formed a woman. Amen. And then he brought the woman to the man. Yes. Amen. 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 Now we, why did God create a woman for a man? Well, 
He did it to complete the man. Amen. See, the man was incomplete. Mm -hmm. As you read the Bible, God said every other animal, animal, everything in the world had a mate. Right. Mm -hmm. Had a counterpart. Mm -hmm. Male and female, you that? But man. Mm -hmm. So when he created Adam, Adam wasn't complete. Right. But the woman was already in it. Come on. Mm. Mm. All right. All right. All right. God did not go back to the dust of the ground mm. and make him a woman. Right, right. Because if he had done that, uh -huh. she would not be part of the man. Come on, man. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. When he brought her back to Adam, Adam said, Behold, this is bone of my bone. Yeah. And flesh of my flesh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to call her woman. Yeah. Woo, woman. woman. Woo. He needed him to know that she was a part of him. Amen. She wasn't separated from him. She was always there in the beginning. Amen. God just brought her forth. Amen. From the inside mm. of the man. Amen. Right from that rib. It's the reason he brought her from the rib. Amen. Because he, he created her and brought her to man to help him, to complete him. Amen. Amen. So the two would become. One flesh. Amen. The Bible says that's a mystery. Amen. Amen. God did not create the woman to become the man. Amen. Come on now. Hello, somebody. Amen. He didn't create the woman to take the man's place. Come on, brother. Amen. Amen. But to help him. Amen. Amen. Genesis 2 and 18. Mm -hmm. Say the Lord God said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helpmate for him. I'm going to give him somebody to be there for him when everybody else will turn it back. Amen. And we know, people of God, that that's not what happened. <coughs> that's not what's happened in the day. Lord have mercy. See, a man can deal with the whole world as long as this woman yes. is standing behind. Come on, man. And vice versa. Amen. Amen. But what did the enemy do? In the garden, he brought in the enmity between the man and yes. the woman. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. And God judged the man and the woman. And he told Eve, he said, now your desire is going to be for your husband. Amen. It's going to be for the position that your husband had. Mm -hmm. But he shall rule over you. Amen. Amen. We're talking about order. Amen. God did that for a reason. Paul says in verse 1, if you want to know what to do, he said, follow my lead. Mm -hmm. Follow my example. Follow me as I follow Christ. Mm -hmm. Do what I do. Do what God says, not what you feel is right. Mm -hmm. mm. Amen. Don't, not what you think is best. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. <laughs> do what I say. Mm -hmm. Now while we know that the father and the mother, amen, are responsible for the physical, emotional, amen, amen, and the spiritual development of our children. Is that right? Amen. God has established a vast difference between the roles. Amen. So we're talking about a man's role, a father's role. Amen. What is a father's role biblically? Look, through almost every culture, according to the word of God, fathers have assumed three primary roles. Amen. Mm. In the nucleus of the family. Amen. Protector, yes. provider, and disciplinary. Is that right? Yeah. If you remember women, ladies, mothers, back in the day, you didn't try to discipline your kids. What did you tell them? Wait till you get Wait till you And usually that was enough. Amen. They, they couldn't even eat right. They couldn't even think, they couldn't even think right because you didn't tell them, wait till you. And what they tell you, Mama, I'm sorry. Don't tell it. Don't tell it, Mama. I'm, I won't do it again. And you say, okay, okay. But you just wait. Amen. Amen. But it's important to note that even many parents today, amen, families today, mothers are fulfilling the mother and the father's role in still of the man. Is that right? Yes. But that's not according to God's order. God didn't ordain it to be that way. That wasn't according to God's divine plan. The reason that happened is because enemy came in 
Yep. And he told a woman, you can do anything the man can do. Matter of fact, you can do it better than a man. And instead of her telling Satan to go to hell, she entertained the thought. And so the devil controlled the government, and what did he do? He had him put the woman, he had him put the man out of the house. He told him, you don't need a man. They're telling him today, you don't need a man. You can take care of yourself. It has nothing to do with the ability to make money. And it has everything to do with God's role yes. for a father. Amen. Yes. Amen. A father's role. Some of the fathers, some, some, for some people, Father's Day is not a good day. <clears throat> Amen. Because the memories that they have of their fathers, mm. uh, uh, some are absentee, deadbeat, worthless males pretending to be men. Mm. Let me say that again. Amen. Everybody that can make a baby is not a father. Amen. 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 See, if you're not spiritually leading your children, mm -hmm. if you're not the spiritual leader in your home, leading by example, Amen, Amen. then you're not operating in a father's role. Amen. I don't care how much money you make. I don't care how tough you are or how much you kid. If you're not operating, Spiritually, we are supposed to be the spiritual leaders yes. in our home. Yes. And we know all too often who brings the children to church. The mother. Amen. God did not intend uh, A father's role is to be the spiritual leader in the home. Amen. Amen. And if you're not doing that, I don't care how many kids you got, you just somebody that got a woman pregnant. And any fool can do that. Amen. 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 1 Thessalonians 2 and 11. 1 Thessalonians 2 and 11 says, As ye know how we exhort and comfort it and charge every one of you as a father doeth his children. They say this is what we did to you. Just like a father did his children, we encouraged you, we exhorted you, we comforted you, right? Mm -hmm. Then he said that you would walk worthy of God. Amen. Verse 12. You see that? Who has called you unto his kingdom and glory. Mm -hmm. A father is supposed to teach their children what it means mm -hmm. to worship God. Amen. Who God is. They supposed to, their kids are supposed to know who to depend on. Amen. Amen. But the Bible declares in 1 Timothy 5 and 8. He said, but if any provide not for his own and especially for those of his own house, he has denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. Mm -hmm. What is an infidel? A rank sinner. He said, don't you dare call yourself a believer if you don't even take care of your own mm -hmm. children. Mm -hmm. You're worse than an infidel. Yeah. You're a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. You're not operating in a father's role. Amen. But a father's role is much more than paying bills. Yes, it is. People of God. And, and, and buying food and clothes. Uh, a whole lot of people try to buy their children. Mm -hmm. You know, they have money and they just keep throwing money at them. Mm -hmm. But what happens? The children become resentful. Amen. They become disrespectful. Why? Amen. Because they don't appreciate mm -hmm. just having the money. Why? Because they want their father. Amen. 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 Any male or female can pay bills. Amen. Children look to their fathers to lay down the law, Amen. the rules of the house, yes. Amen. Amen. To, and to enforce them when needed. Uh -huh. Not if needed, mm -hmm. when yes. they're needed. Because they're going to be needed. Oh, yes. Amen. 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 And, 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 but, but when God created a man to lead his kids spiritually. Mm. He told him in Proverbs 22 and 6, he said, train them up. Train up a child in the way they should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from you. Amen. <clears throat> but he said, while the baby is young, teach him who God is. Mm. And Deuteronomy, he said, teach him in the morning. Teach him when you lay down at night. When you go along the way. 
He said, make sure they understand who you worship, who you depend on, so they know how to worship. Amen. But then he, he makes a distinction between the woman and the man. Because he's talking to the man when he goes to Ephesians 6 and 4. In Ephesians 6 and 4, he says, And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath. He didn't say mothers. Right. He said, Ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the fear, in the nurture and the admonition of the Lord. He said, When you discipline them, don't be cruel. Amen. Amen. Don't act, exacerbate them. Don't discourage them by trying to mold them into what you think they ought to be. Amen. 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 But lead them by example to Christ and what he wants them to be. Amen. What am I talking about? What do I mean? See, you have a lot of fathers that want to live by carelessly through their kids. Come on. Because they messed up. Right. Amen. So what he's saying is don't say to them, you play football, so they're going to play football. You see what I'm saying? You went to college, so I went to college, so you're going to go to college. I went, I, God didn't tell you to do that message. He told you to teach them who God is. Amen. 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 You went to Yale, so I, I went to Yale, so you going to Yale. You know, I worked at the factory, so you... You gonna work it? No, 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 no. Instead, why don't you worship and honor God? Amen. So they'll worship Amen. and honor God. Amen. How about that? Yeah. Children also look to their fathers for security and stability. I'm gonna tell you right now, they don't look to mothers for that. Amen. They don't look to mothers for that. That's not a mother's role. Amen. Security and stability is the father's role. That's why when you see a, a, a couple getting divorced, it messes up the kids. Amen. And the enemy knows it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Enemy knows it. Amen. Amen. And we always want to say, you know what? Just do what I say, not what I do. Mm -hmm. Kids are not going to do what we say. We already know that. But they are definitely going to do what we do. Amen. Whether they like it or not. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And you got a whole lot of people talking about generational curses. Mm -hmm. It's not a generational curse. No. It's learned behavior. Amen. That's what it is. Yeah, what they see, that's what they do. Amen. With their experience, that's what they do. It's, it's just that simple. Amen. Amen. You say, well, they don't have to. What else are they going to do if that's all they know? Come on. Hmm. If they see the, the best gift that a father can give his child is to treat his mother right. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 And I'm preaching a lot more than y'all <laughs> putting on. Yeah. Yeah, y'all sitting there like y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And regardless of what the psychologists say and what the year is 2024 and what world we live in, and all it don't mean that God's word is true and it's, right. it's everlasting from generation to generation. Yes. Amen. 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 And, and God's divine order has not changed. Amen. Why? Because God has not changed. Amen. 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 The government in the world will tell you not to discipline your children. Mm. That's the devil. He knows. Because oh, yes. he knows if you don't discipline them, you're going to create some demons. Amen. Why? Because if you don't bring them, if you don't do what God says, right, if you don't bring them to Christ, they get to the devil by default. Right. See, people don't understand that. And that's what's happening in the world today. Parents stop worshiping God. They stop doing it. So what? They ain't going to bring the kids to do something they don't even do. Right. And then they wonder what happened. Oh, I, I need some help with my kids. Well, I, y'all, I dealt with a woman the other day. And I'm going to just testify. I, I was going to allow her to rent one of my houses. And uh, the Spirit spoke to me on Sunday night. He said, you need to meet her kids. Mm. Uh huh. Because I met her and things she could And just in my spirit, he told me, he said, You need to meet your kids. So I, I texted her and I said, I need to meet your kids. She said, Okay. So I went by where she was and I, I met her. And Lord have mercy, the young man. When I left, I already knew they wouldn't win mine. Mm -hmm. The 
boy was so disrespectful, he disrespected his mama. Me, God, said he don't, uh, he just blasphemed God so bad, I said, oh, boy. Mm -hmm. I said, if he don't respect his mama or me, I know he's not going to respect my father. Amen. Amen. And that's why I just said, thank you, Lord. Because I wasn't even thinking about it. He said, you, you need to meet at the children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I felt bad for the mother because I said, uh, you know, he's that way. And you can't get mad at him because you're his mother. Mm -hmm. I said, I know his father's not here. Mm -hmm. But if his father's not here, you can teach him who God is. Amen. She said, oh, I'll just be so busy and I'll be working. I said, honey, you don't have to explain to me. Mm -hmm. I said, but you got to deal with him. Amen. And I didn't, the daughter, she told the daughter to come out. She wouldn't even come out. Mm. And he told me, he said, my sister is worse than I. Ooh. I said, well, thank Ooh. you for that information. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I had to let her know what I know was going on. I said, Lord, I said, honey, I, I, it ain't going to happen. Mm -hmm. It's just not going to happen. Amen. 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 I mean, and had no respect for God or nothing. I mean, just talk so bad. But I'm saying the Bible says in Proverbs 22 and 15 that foolishness, we're talking about the role of the father. Foolishness is bound up in the heart of a child. But the rod of correction will drive it far from it. Amen. Amen. Proverbs 23 and 13, these are only two I'm going to use. It says, withhold not correction from the child. He said, don't withhold it. 20, amen. 23 and 13. He said, For if thou beatest him with the rod, <laughs> thou, he shall not die. You ain't going to kill him. Okay? <coughs> thou shalt beat him with the rod and shall what? Deliver his soul from hell. We're talking about a father's role. I don't care what kind of father you think you are. If you're not doing what God says, you're not operating in the father's role. Amen. Period. Period. No matter how much you provide or nothing else. Amen. Because spiritual guidance mm -hmm. is one million times more important than financial yes. provision. Yes. Amen. Thank you for your Thank you. Thank you. But discipline has always been the role of the father. Amen. Amen. And I don't mean that mothers are not uh, able or in, I don't mean you're incapable of disciplining your children. But see, if you notice, even little babies don't listen to mothers <laughs> like they listen to right, fathers. Right. Right. Yeah. Have you noticed that? Because yeah. yeah. God has an order. Yeah. God yeah. has a role. Yeah. He's yeah. not listening to you because your voice is not deep enough. Right. He's not listening to you because he, you're not, you don't have the masculinity right. that puts the fear of God in him. Amen. See what I'm saying? He'll try you. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. 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 You, you see on YouTube they have those, uh, they have those little skits where, where they'll play a trick on the daddy. Mm -hmm. Have you seen that? Yeah. Well, the mama will say something to the kid, and the kid disrespect the real bad. You go do it yourself. And dad would be like, what did you say? And he get up, and they tell him, it's a prank, it's a prank. Yeah. I said, boy, somebody's daddy going to beat somebody there for you. <laughs> but they're doing that on YouTube, and they're pranking the daddy, trying to act like the kid is being disrespectful to the mom. And daddy is on it. And they got to tell him, it's it, it. Yeah. What did you say to your mom? See, because they don't do that, and they know better. Amen. 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 But I know that all I know that all too well because my mother <clears throat> used to beat me like I stole something. My mama. Oh yeah. I feared my mother. Amen. But see, my mother was an old school mother. Yes, was. You know, my my mother, you know, he said he's a father to the fatherless. Yes. And so she believed that, so she just did everything she knew God said did. Amen. You, Amen. 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 She whipped me peace tree switches and all. I, I'll never forget it. I get chills now. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm talking about some serious abuse. See, y'all go, oh, that's abuse. Yeah, I used, I used to. Listen, it took two or three weeks sometimes for them whips 
So that peach juice with skin broken. Back then, you could go to school looking like you've been beat out of them. And they didn't do nothing about it. No. Now, if you go to school, one little bruise, who did that? Did your mama do that? Did your daddy do that? Amen. Amen. And you might as well pass a mother's capable of providing for her children. That's true. We know that. We understand that. Amen. Amen. And you would be right in a practical worldly sense. Mm -hmm. But in a biblical spiritual sense, right. you would be wrong. Amen. 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 Because it has nothing to do with money. Amen. And everything to do with a father's role. Yes. Amen. This is Amen. why the enemy took the father out of the house yes. because he knew if he destroyed the head yes. the body was going to die yeah. now he didn't do it and I gotta say this Satan can't do anything right. to us right. he gets us to do it Amen. he haven't ever destroyed a man he got you to do it Oh, yeah. Amen. He convinced yeah. you that you didn't need no man. He convinced you that you were better off alone, raised him by yourself. And that was the end of it. Amen. Amen. Now, I'm not saying some of these men you have no business being with, no way. Amen. See, that's the problem. God, yeah, yeah God's ordered the problem. You the problem. Because you go get a man that you ain't no business, even bring them around your kids. Amen. So don't blame God or the devil. Yeah. See, a lot of the stuff we bring on ourselves. Yeah. Why? Because we're out of God's order. Yeah. God's telling us if a man find a wife, he find a good thing. Yeah. He didn't tell you to go find a man. Right. He didn't tell you to get a man because he look good. Right. Oh, he fine. <laughs> <laughs> he fine. <laughs> How many times have you heard that these women have brought a man in their house? And he has killed their children. He has killed their children. And you want to blame the man. No, that's your fault. Because you never should have brought that man around. Got to wake up. He's not a father. He's a male. Amen. There's a difference. It takes a man. It takes a real man to raise and take care and nurture children. Amen. 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 And it's not about the capability of, of making money. It's all about God's order. Amen. Amen. And the discipline and development need to, needed to train up the child rests in the authority of the father. So when you put the father out or he leaves, guess what? The authority leaves with him. Amen. And you wonder why this child didn't rebel. I don't care if it's a boy or a girl. They're not going to listen to you. Amen. That's not how God says. Yeah, he said, honor your father and your mother. That's why he said, honor your father and your mother. Because he knows if you don't honor your mother, the father will snatch a knot in you. Amen. You will honor your mother. Why? Because your father is that. Amen. 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 <laughs> but while we as human beings, we continue to lean to our own understanding. We continue to say that these roles don't really matter. Mm. It really don't matter. Amen. Amen. The world is going to hell in a handbasket yeah. yes. because everybody acts like they can do anything they want their way. God said, no. Mm. You need to do it the way I said. Amen. 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 And that's why children are completely confused. Yes. Amen. Amen. You got the man want to be the woman. Mm. The woman want to be the man. The children don't even know if they're human. They don't know what to do. They, they put rings and dip. They just confused. Why? Because you can turn them over to the devil. Amen. And that demon is trying to manifest itself through that child because they don't know what to do. Why? Because you didn't put no Christ in them. Amen. And that's why the little boys and girls are lost today. They don't have a clue. Amen. Why? Because they're led by the devil. Yeah. And the devil's going to lead them straight to hell. Amen. Amen. Because everything is out of order. Mm. It used to be that uh, growing up, when we had a fight with somebody, we'd have a fight. Right? Right. And if he blooded you up and dusted you off a little bit, you'd get up and say, okay. Okay, you won. 
right? Now that we hanging out together, we're going to jump on the next one. We're going to be together now. <laughs> See, we, we buddies now. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to be cool. But we ain't nobody going to go get a gun and come shoot nobody. Right. No, right, right. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah. we were men back then. Amen. Have you ever in your life considered a young girl, a little girl, plotting to kill somebody? Mm -hmm. Then going and doing it, videoing it, and being entertained by it. That's the world you live in today. And that's what happened when you stop dealing with God. Amen. You turn the children over to the devil. We never would cross that line. If you was beating somebody, somebody standing there tell you that's enough. Leave them alone. Stop. Right there. You're not going to kill them. But now they video and they're saying what? Kill him. Mm -hmm. Kill him. Oh, look, he's going to kill him. Y'all, yeah. <laughs> that's because you no longer have men in father's role. Amen. 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 We talking about Father's Day. Amen. 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 And look, for many people, it's not a, a, a good day. I was, I was reading something the other day in, uh, written by a man in his 50s, and he wrote, uh, my dad was gone a lot, okay? Mm -hmm. He was gone a lot at work. <clears throat> he provided for his family, he, he provided for us, and at that time, he said, that was what was expected of dad. He said, that's what we expected of him, right? That's what mama expected. Uh, God created men to be there for their children, amen? amen. He created men to be leaders of their home. God made fathers responsible for their families. Is that right? Amen. In every way, not just financially, but spiritually. Amen. And you're called by God to be the spiritual leader, the priest of your home. 1 Corinthians 11 and 3, this is what he said. But I would have you know that the head of every what? Man is Christ. Amen. And the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. Do you know that he, he said that Christ even falls in line? Mm. He said Christ don't try to overstep his bounds. Amen. He submits to the Father. Yes, he does. Men are supposed to submit to the Son, to Christ. And women are supposed to submit to the head of the Amen. Amen. And I know that word submit is just give you chills. Something <laughs> you can't shake it. It's like submit. Ah, uh, no. Why? Because you don't have that spirit. Amen. Amen. And the fathers are commanded to lead by example because God knows, and so do we. Amen. <laughs> that while our children won't do what we say, they're definitely going to do what they see us do. Amen. Amen. Now, I'm going to give you some t statistics, and I'm going to close. It says 68 million of our nation's 94 million men don't attend any church. Mm -hmm. This is in spite of the fact that 86% of them grew up with some sort of church background. Mm -hmm. Okay? Amen. But this is the decline we're having in the world today. Amen. Research has confirmed that if a child is the first person in a household to get saved, listen to this, be, to become born again, right? There is a 3.5% of uh, possibility that everyone else in that household will get saved. Amen. At some point. Hmm. You know, it reminded me of Riley. Amen. See, her mother told me, she said, look, she said, I couldn't stop coming if I wanted to, because Riley ain't happy. Amen. Amen. <laughs> And she said, because she come to church, she got to say she got to go to Sunday school, she got to go to church service, she got to pray. Amen. The Bible said they'll be led by a little child. child. Yes, right. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Amen. And that statistic is true. Yeah. Why? Because because they'll lead their parents if the parents are left. Amen. And oftentimes the parents don't know what to do with them anyway. <laughs> Amen. 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 But that's not very high at all if the mother is the first to accept Christ in a family. Yes. The percentage goes up, 17% of the home will see the remainder of those 
members of that family start trusting in Christ. Amen. Goes up seventeen percent. Amen. Amen. But if the father is the first to get saved, mm. there is a ninety-three mm. percent possibility wow. that everyone else right. in the household will follow. Why? Because the father is the leader. Amen. Whether he's leading you to Christ or leading you to hell, he's still the leader, and you're going to follow. Amen. Whether you knowingly or unknowingly, you're going to follow his footsteps. Amen. Amen. So we see that when the Father goes first spiritually, there is a higher possibility that God's plan for the family will work out the way God designed it to. Amen. And the power of God is made manifest in the spirit in that home. Amen. Amen. But when the Father becomes everything else except hmm. what God created him to be. Come on. Which is the spiritual leader of the home. Amen. Everything is out of order. Mm. Hence the home becomes broken. Y'all, we live in a world full of broken people and broken homes. Amen. And we wonder what's going on. It all started in the beginning. Oh, yeah. Amen. 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 So I'm going to tell you this little story and I'm going I'm to close. It said father and his son went on a fishing trip. And when they returned home, the father was talking to his friend. At the same time, the son was talking to his friend. Mm -hmm. And the friend asked the father, so how did the trip, how, did, how was the trip? And the father responded, absolutely miserable. Mm -hmm. Worst day of my life. We struggled getting a boat ready to go and got the lake, got to the lake and couldn't get uh, no gas and got on, <laughs> got on the water late and all the good fishing spots was already taken. Finally, we found a place and the lines were all tangled up together. No matter what mm. kind of bait we used, the fish was biting something else. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he said it was horrible. Mm. The sun was hot and the mosquitoes were biting. Mm. And we didn't catch a thing. Mm. The sun's friend asked him, how did the trip go? The son replied, the best day of my life. Well, come on. He said, we didn't catch a thing. He said, but I got to spend all day alone with my son. Amen. Amen. These kids don't care nothing about no money. They don't. They want their dad. Yes. Yes. Amen. And so when we operate in a father's role, they are trained up in the nurture and the admonition of God. Amen. amen. And never in any time, in any generation, amen, uh, do we need our father. Amen. Anymore. Amen. And it's not more important than it is right, right now. now. Amen. amen. And I call fathers all over the world. Amen. To start doing what God said. Yes. Amen. Amen. To honor God and lead by example. Because the bottom line is we need a generation of godly men yes. to step up. Amen. Amen. Who understand the importance of Father's role. Men who are willing to speak out and to help ungodly men mm -hmm. understand what God requires. Amen. To understand their God-given role as a head and not the tail. Amen. Praise the Lord. And in doing this, we will be helping the next generation of children. They don't have to be <clears throat> a statistic. These lost men, amen, need to know that. Amen. That's why we always try to bring men up here. Amen. That's why we, I was so adamant about teaching your young youth. Amen. They, we will invest into their lives. Yes. All you got to do is bring them. Yeah, we'll man. make sure that we teach them how to be men of God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But we can't do that if the parents don't know. Amen. 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 And just because you can help produce a child, mm -hmm. man, that does not make you a father. Amen. You can be married, but with, <laughs> look, but that doesn't make you a mate. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let me say that again. Mm -hmm. You can be married, but that don't mean you got to help me. Amen. 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 If that mother and father not operating in the role God gave them, 
you can have be catching all kind of hell. Yes. Amen. Amen. Instead of helping you, they're helping the world destroy you. Amen. 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 And you can be a male, but that don't make you a man. Amen. Amen. This is what God is speaking to every man. Whether you are a father or not. He look, we have a job to do, man. We have a job to do. And because regardless of what the movies and the TVs and the actors and the devil in hell tell you, amen, amen. it's teaching the world. God has declared and decreed a father's role is a very important role. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. And the enemy told us way back in Genesis that the role didn't matter. Mm. Yeah. yeah, he started telling the women, you don't need no man. Mm -hmm. If you believe that, you're a fool. Amen. Yep. Why? Because God created you for a man. Amen. Don't say you don't need what God created you. That's the reason he created you. Amen. Mm. So if you don't need a man, what is your purpose for being here? Amen. Mm. Say it. Please. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to read Jeremiah 24 and 15. Because this was what he told them after they went over in the promised land. He told them because he, he said, y'all need to make up your mind what you're going to do. But he said, and if it seem evil unto you, you see that? Mm -hmm. Jeremiah, I mean Joshua 24 and 15. Joshua 24 and 15. I'm sorry. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord. See that? There we go. There we go. If it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, if you act like it's a burden for you to serve God, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay? Choose you this day who you will serve. Because you ain't got but two. You either serving the God of this, amen, or you serving the devil. He said you can't serve two masters. Amen. 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 He said whether the gods which are your father served that were on the other side of the flood, <clears throat> amen, the pagans, or the God of the Amorites, yes. in whose land you dwell. He said, but as for me and my house, we don't serve the Lord. Amen. 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 Give the Lord a hand. I need to do a men's conference on that. Amen. Because men need to hear it. They need to yes. know. Amen. 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 We are the head, not the tail. Yes. Everything was hands on Adam. Yes. Amen. What do I mean? Eve ate the fruit. The forbidden fruit of the tree. Right. And then nothing happened. Mm. Mm. <laughs> she gave it to her, her husband who was with her. He ate. And they died spiritually immediately. Amen. And got put out to God. Oh, yeah. Separated from God. How do I know that's a fact? Because the Bible don't say by one man. The Bible said that he don't say by one man and one woman. Mm. He said by one man. Sin came into the world. Yep. Amen. Amen. He said about one man, righteousness is going to come in. Amen. First Adam and then the second Adam is Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 So women, you play a very important role in the life of men. You can build them up. You can tear them down. If you think that you need to be tearing them down. You need to stop listening to the devil. Amen. Because God gave you to man to build him up. Yes. To help him to be the best man of God he can be. And even in First Corinthians, the Bible says that if your husband or your wife don't deal with God, then God will honor you. And if you if you operate in the way God intended you to, He said, God said He can move your spot. Yes, he to will. Be saved. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Amen. Amen. Because he'll honor your prayer. Yes, amen. And with that, we're standing. <laughs> amen. amen. Father's role. You know what a father's role is now? Amen. If you didn't when you came in, you know now. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So I want to, I, I do have a certificate young man, I'll bring him up But I want if there's anyone here that's heard the voice of God 
And you say, Pastor, I, I, I need, I, I want to be a man of God. I want, I want to operate in the Father's role. Amen. If that's you today, just step out and come give me your hand and give God your heart. Amen. Amen. Yes. You're never too young to be used by God. He will use you. He used Samuel. Samuel was 12 years old. Amen. Amen. And he called. Yes. Made him a prophet. Amen. But if there's anyone here that's heard the voice of God and you're looking for a church home, you're looking for a church home, it's time to come. I thank everybody here. You need a church home. Amen. Amen. So says the Bible. I need you. So I'm going to give these people online an opportunity and you here to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior because that's what the gospel is all about. It's about saving someone. And we're going to do it in a way that it works, the way the Bible says. Amen. If you confess with your mouth to the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, he promised that thou shalt be saved. Amen. So if that's you today, all you got to do is repeat after me this simple prayer. Father God, I'm a sinner. I've sinned against you. I repent of my sins. Forgive me in the name of your son, Jesus. Father God, I believe that Jesus Christ is your son. I believe he died on the cross for my sins. And I believe he was dead and buried. And I believe on the third day, he raised him from the dead. I believe according to the Holy Scriptures. If I die believing in you, Lord Jesus, in my heart, that in my last day, Lord, you'll raise me from the dead. So, Lord Jesus, I invite you to my heart. Holy Spirit, I give you control of my life. And, Father, I ask in the name of Jesus that you will save my soul. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. According to the word of God, not me. If you made that humble confession and you made it in your heart, you've been born again. Jesus said he'll come. He's not a man that he should lie. Amen. And what he did on the inside of you will manifest itself on the outside. If it didn't happen, then it won't be no change. If it did happen, everything will change. Amen. That's how you know you're saved. Amen. And now it is on. I want those who are being baptized to come up. And I always want to explain.